The third question is similar to the first question, but here they have asked to solve linear equations by graphing. Since it is in the MCQ, if they have asked the graph, it's very easy in calculator. But if they're asking to solve the equations, it's the same method. But first, we need to rearrange this to standard form. The standard form is given as AX plus BX plus equals C. Now, how do we write this in this form? Here, there is no X at all. So it is 0X, basically, plus Y equals minus 3. Very straightforward. But the next equation, you need to bring X and Y together. So this X goes to the other side. It becomes minus X plus Y equals minus 3. Now, let's solve these equations out in the calculator. Again, let's go to mode, phi, and 1. Let's type in the coefficients. It's 0, 1, and we have got minus 3. Here it is minus 1, 1, and again negative 3. And what is the answers? Here we are getting 0 and minus 3. So that is the solution. Now, if they have given the options as graphs, then fine. Just look over here which graph intersects at 0 and minus 3. Yeah, this is the graph. You will have plenty of graphs. See where is the solution at this particular point. So the best and the easy way would be solve these equations in the calculator directly and check for the graph. So mode 5, 1. Over here, let's solve this one. Since 4x moves to the other side, it becomes minus 4. And then these two remains the same. It's 1, 1, y, and equals to 2. Here, minus 2x moves to the other side, right? Because we have to have x and y together. I just realized the standard form. It's I've written x over here. It's ax plus by. So here only this part moves. So what we write is y equals, sorry, minus 2x goes to the other side, becomes plus 2x, 2, 1. And lastly, we have negative 4. And so the answer is negative 1 and 2. And you can see at minus 1 and 2, minus 2, sorry, this intersects over here. That's how we can easily solve it up. But what if the solutions, the graph has no solution? Let's see. Okay, over here, this is one of the options. Here, let's solve it up. If we type this in, it will be minus 1, 1, and minus 6. And then we have 1, sorry, again, it's minus 1, 1, and 2. It gives, in this particular calculator, it gives me no solution. If you have the latest model, it will directly tell you it's no solution. But what if your calculator gives you math error? Some calculators might give you a math error. You may not know you have no solutions or infinite solutions. So in that case, you need to write it in the slope intercept form. That is a slope intercept form. It's y is equal to mx plus b. So once you write it in the slope intercept form, you can easily find out what is it. Now here, if you have this y coefficient same, 1 and 1, even the slope, m, m is the slope, this is also same. And only the this y-intercept b value are different, then it is no solution. Why? Because now the slope is same over here. It's going to be a same line, but it touches at minus 6. That means this is the point. Here it's going to be a parallel line, but it'll touch at, it'll pass through positive 2. So it'll never touch each other. They are parallel lines. Now let's see over here. First, let's solve that one. What do we have over here? 1, 1, 4. And then we have 3, 3, 12. Now here, I will get infinite solution. Now again, in your calculator, you may not get infinite solution. You might have math error. So in such case, first thing is, try to you know simplify this before getting into the slope intercept form. Now looking at this, I can see x, x, y, y, 4, 12. There's something common. So what do you do is, look at one of the variables. I'll just choose x over here, try to make these two equal. So what I would do is generally, I would simplify the below equation, try to get it in the simplest form. That would mean if I just divide this by 3, I'll get x. But you can't just divide at one part, you have to divide throughout by 3. What do you get? You'll get x plus y equals 4. In fact, we're getting just the above equation. So it's the same line. Both the equations will fall upon the same line. So each and every point is a solution. So we have infinite solutions for this case. 
and the graph will just be the single line it's the same line that's how we do it so all of these can be easily solved in calculator and then check for over here also we have infinite solutions now how would you solve this one is just try to make this and this equal so multiply this by minus 1 throughout it'll be positive x minus y equals minus 2 so it is just the above equation and this one as well put it in the calculator solve it up now this has a solution this is the solution point that's it it's another very simple topic just use the calculator and solve it easily